Hello friends. Our builder finally moved the porto potty dead center of this construction project, but that's not the only update that we'll give you in this video. In this video, we're going to update you on all the progress of this beautiful spec that we're building in Dixie Springs right after this intro. Folks, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Here we talk about buying, selling, and investing in real estate right here in Southern Utah. If you're new to this channel, make sure to smash that subscribe button and the notification bell right next to it so that you don't miss any of our future videos. But let's just dive right into it and talk about what we have accomplished over the last, how long has it been? Probably about a week, week and a half? Yeah. About a week and a half. So if you've seen our previous video, we had a couple of you that commented and said that it is such a shame that we had those mailboxes right here. They used to be right here. They used to be right in front of our second RV bay, making it super challenging to get in and out of this bay because they were literally right here. But awesome folks at the Hurricane Postmaster, we spoke to the Postmaster and they were able to just grant, it, grant us uh, an instant permission to move those mailboxes over so that they're no longer a burden and now take a look at this we've got a massive double rv garage and a little bit of room so we're actually hoping to move the hvac units on that side of the house we'll see how it ties in with our uh, hvac engineer but ideally if we're able to move all of the hvac units on that side of the house i think here we will have probably about 12 feet to be able to fit in there's some access right here right beside the house where you could uh, park a trailer, a boat, anything that you don't want to put in this massive RV garage. We also made some progress on the upper level of this home. And we're so glad that everybody has just come together. It seems like the Dixie Springs ACC dropped whatever they were doing. They don't have any other worries in the neighborhood. They gave it all up just to help participate in this project. We really appreciate their love and support. Anyway, that's besides the point. Let's take a look at the front. So this property will also have an awesome courtyard that goes around the casita. And there's a lot more, a lot more sticks in here now. So it's easier to kind of hopefully get the idea of the dimensions of everything. So the casita will have a sliding door right here and it can be accessed ind independently aside from the front entry. Front entry will have a massive door and there will be a balcony up above giving beautiful views to the north, which we're about to go check out. So let's take a look on the inside. I'm really excited because once OSB is up, you could actually kind of get the idea. So this staircase will dramatically change its appearance as we progress on this build. I'm not gonna tell you guys what it's gonna, what the finished product is gonna look like, but it's gonna be a lot more exciting than this. So our living room, dining area is getting really close as you can see if you follow me over here so there will be a slider over here that opens to the backyard in the event if you want to put in a pool it gives you easier access and there's actually enough room and the ceiling height is absolutely incredible right behind that door or right behind that wall it doesn't quite have the door yet will be a hidden butler pantry and the, the size of this pantry is incredible. Let's see if you can if you can pop in there after me and kind of just show. So this pantry will have um, will have some counters that will kind of run the length of this wall, and there will be some shelving all around, and it'll give you tons of room. It's probably one of the largest pantries that I've seen in a 3,000 square foot home. It is, it's massive in here. What do you think? It's still hard to tell because it, we've got sticks everywhere. Yeah, but it's huge. So, if you back up all the way to that slider, again, like I told you guys in the previous video, I'm about six foot two, six foot two and a half with my hair up. Um, and this, this ceiling height is literally, what would you say, about 20 feet? The pitch in this room with the vaulted ceiling probably, is going to be awesome. 20, yeah, at least. So, let's see what other 
what other updates we have on the main floor. So from the living room, if we go this way, this is the door that takes us into a massive two car attached to the RV garage. And if we go this way, that's the entry into the master. This is all kinds of sticks. Um, again, another slider that takes you out into the backyard. Master suite is gonna be a really good size. Lots of sunlight. Looks like we cut one of the windows in the master bath and it will have a second window right beside it right here. You can see it framed off, but it's not quite cut yet. This will be a, we're putting a standalone tub. Uh-huh, and shower, that'll be the shower. That that'll be the out. shower. There'll be a vanity right here, a no, vanity no, no. right across. That, that'll be the standalone tub next to the shower. Shower and a standalone yep. tub. And, and then, then the vanity's right across. Yeah, vanity's right across. The vanity's right across. Throne room here, master dressing. Which is huge. Which I is love massive. It. Will there be a sink? I'm not sure what that um, plumbing is for. Is it for a stackable washer and dryer? Yes, we may have a stackable washer and dryer right inside. Well, it wouldn't make sense for a stackable washer and dryer because the laundry room is right here. We need to look at the plans too. We have to take a look at the plans to identify that piece of plumbing. But. <laughs> The master dressing opens into the laundry room. Laundry room is gonna be right here. And then through the laundry room, you could pass right through back into this hallway. To the mud room. In the mud room. Let's take a look and see if we made any more progress on the casita. I don't know if you can fit through this. This will be a hallway. Is it a hallway bath? Uh -huh. Yeah. Little, so like, this is a hallway bath. bath. Yeah. So we've got one, two, three, three bathrooms on the main floor. So that's a hallway bath. Careful with all the framing. And this is Casita. Again, this is the third slider in this house. So this will have a slider that opens up to the north, to the front of the property. And it will have its own ensuite. And that door, that imaginary door that we just walked through, that can lock away from the main house. So if you have somebody staying here, uh, that you don't necessarily want to have access to the rest of the house. This is your guest suite. They can come and go as they please and you could lock this section off as its own, um, as its own independent suite. And it's going to be insulated by the pantry from the main house. So this is nice and private. You know, if you've got somebody here that wants to sleep in and the rest of the house, you know, has to be up and at it early in the morning, they can have their privacy. They can come and go as they please. There is the hookup for a kitchenette. So there will be a little kitchenette right here and a little kitchenette area. So they'll have their own kitchen, their own uh, closet, their own bathroom, and their own entry. So it's like a little mother-in-law suite, casita. Um, what else do they call these things? Attached apartment. Depends on where you're from in the country. Mm -hmm. There's different names for this sort of dwelling. Okay. Guys, keep in mind, I'm getting filmed by Michon, who is currently nine months pregnant. So just be careful going up these stairs. I'll be good. <laughs> We're ha I'm giving birth in three weeks, but I... Look straight ahead and not down. And stick to the right side. Safety first. Sorry, my shoes. If you can hear my shoes, I have flip flops and they're loud. So from the upstairs, if you come over this way and look right behind you, look in this direction. So from here, you could really appreciate how grand this side of the house is. So this front entry, the foyer area will be absolutely massive. This is what, like probably 20 foot ceilings. There would be a massive window. That's like window. 25 feet. Cause yeah. like the kitchen down there was probably 20. Yeah, the kitchen was probably 20, it was like 25. So you've got these massive ceilings with a huge grand window that will let in lots of sunlight. Mm -hmm. And this entire dining living area will also have massive ceilings. So if you're a big fan of a huge Christmas tree, you could definitely accomplish that in this house. Mm -hmm. So this is the loft area. So you come upstairs, it's kind of like a, you could turn this into 
an office. You could turn this into, same goes for the casita too. If you could, if you don't have, you know, if you don't have the need for a mother-in-law suite, you have office with front access. So even if somebody's coming over to your office, you could lock it away from the rest of the house. This could be your second office, or it could be uh, used as a bedroom, flex room. Then let me try to figure out all the framing. So there will be a door here. And I think this will be an ensuite. Don't see any plumbing here, so it's super confusing, but we will have a bathroom upstairs. Isn't this a bedroom? So this might be a bedroom with an I think this is a suite. bedroom, and I think the one in the front corner is a bedroom, and this is like the loft area right at the top of so the So we were standing in the loft area. So this is bedroom number one. This is the biggest bedroom. This is as big as the master. This is literally as big as the master. It's right above the master, and it will have an ensuite. Well, there's a doorway that's framed in right here, or it might have a Jack and Jill. So... So I'm standing inside of the no bath. there's no closet, like... So one of the rooms is a closet. There is a closet right here. But it looks like it's got a different access. Too many doorways. I'll have to bring the plans up on the screen so you guys could make better sense of this. This is what we deal with. So uh, I think this will be an ensuite, possibly a Jack and Jill, because there's a doorway right here as well. No, this is an ensuite. This is a door that takes you into um, the water closet. closet. Okay. So this is basically the size of the master plus a large ensuite and a water closet. And then if we go on the other side of this wall, we'll see another bedroom. Looks like there's a closet right there in the middle too. Let's attack it from that room. So from this room here, this looks like a little linen closet. And then as you enter here, again, Biggest. another massive slider that opens up to the patio. This is this is the room that I would want. As this room has the best views. Wow. And a walk out on the balcony. Let's take a look at this. And this is pretty much the view. So uh, the neighborhood is built out in that direction. There's no more obstructions of this incredible view of Pine Valley Mountain. And remember last time I was telling you guys, we get just enough snow, but it's far enough away. And you have to look really hard at the peaks of that mountain. It is now February 10th and the snow is gone. So if you love snow as much as I do, which I don't, Southern Utah is definitely for you. These rooms up here are huge. And take a look at this. this. This balcony space is actually quite massive too. It can be accessed through here. And I think one of these may be a slider. The other one may be a window. I'm not sure where the slider will go. I'll have to consult the plans. We might actually have two sliders. My God, that's a lot of money in sliders. Yeah. And if you look over that way, you can appreciate the size of this massive two car plus a double RV garage. Let's take a look at that. Well, we're on, we're on top of the two car, so this is just the double RV. Yeah, that's just the double RV. Yeah. The two cars right underneath us. That is, you could fit like 10 cars in there. So if you've got a bad addiction to collecting cars, bikes, whatever it is that you're into, this home may be perfect. Folks, thank you so much for tuning in to check out this week's update. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, if you'd like to know a little more about this spec house, I will drop my contact information in the description below this video. If you know of anybody that's looking to move to Southern Utah, maybe they're in the beginning of that process, this property will be finished from this point. We're probably looking at another three to four months. We started ordering a lot more things for it, like the appliances and some of the finishing touches. We're still waiting for trusses for the second story to finish the roof and things will be moving right along. So make sure to subscribe to this channel, hit the like button, and the notification bell right next to it so that as soon as the new video comes out, you'll be the first one to know. And I will see you in the next one. Peace.